Good morning, everyone. Today we are here in beautiful Boulder, Colorado. A lot of people, I feel, don't really comprehend how powerful the sun is. I want to talk today about sunset and sunrises, and then also civil twilight sunrises and sunset. In in indoor flowering or, or indoor growing, a lot of people recommend that you have a minimum of 16 hours of light to keep the plants in veg. Wait, what are you buying retail for? Become a member and go direct to the manufacturer as low as $50 a month. Learn more below. Well, during May, June, and July is the time period when plants vegetate in Boulder and pretty much everywhere in the world, or at least the medicinal cannabis plants, I mean, they stay in veg. In California, uh, where I'm from, around June 1st to June 4th, we have about 14 and a half hours of daylight. During that time, plants will stay in veg. If you put them into flowering any time before that, they will go into flowering. When you look at the time, it's 14 and a half hours, but when you include the twilight time, it's 15 and a half hours. When it begins to signal to the plants, okay, there's enough light, let's go ahead and stay in vegetative state. So when you go through this period, the plants, right when they drop below 15 and a half hours is when they begin to start flowering again. So as you can see right here, this is the blackout period, the blacking and in May, we start, we start with this. And uh, during July, uh, the plants will naturally start to flower uh, after the 24th of, of July. Uh, what I like to do is I really like to use the outside light to flower uh, year-round because I can flower in January, February, March, April, even half of May. And if I do blacking out, I can continue through my cycle in May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and or I mean continue my cycle of flowering so I never stop production. When you force something in the black world for a long period of time, it's difficult to, for people to work together and share ideas and collaborate. Right now, a lot of people have been growing indoors, so they're carrying that same mindset of indoor thought process to greenhouse and outdoor. Is that wrong? No, it's not wrong. It's actually going to make a, a better world in the sense in a better growing environment. Although, you know, when you think of efficiency wise, uh, you need flower for flower. Uh, efficiency. A uh, real good solid sunlight. You know, this day, uh, twilight uh, isn't perfect, but it does start the cycle. Whether it starts at these early hours, uh, we don't, we might not think it makes a big difference, but the plant sees that early light. So when we come through, we're going to be able to flower and use supplemental light in, in January, February. We even might black out even possibly in November and December and January because of how little the light is. And, you know, having a bright light in a dark area, still going to shine through for a couple hours and people might notice. So you might want to be blacking out in, in November, December and January, but in February, March and April, May, you'll be able to turn the lights on right when the sun's coming up and, and turn the lights off right when the sun's coming down. As long as giving less light than 15 hours, your your plants will flower. Of course, if you give it more light, uh, they're going to be in vegetative state. You're going to see those traits slightly longer, might get extended out. Yeah, by cutting it 12 and 12, blacking out, or, and just being efficient as much as possible, you're going to have a very, very successful year, year-round growing, using very little power, blacking out only a few times a year, and being able to get as much of your life back as possible. Please give us a thumbs up, and if you are not subscribed, subscribe down below thanks so much wait what are you buying retail for become a member and go direct to the manufacturer as low as 50 dollars a month learn more below